Greetings, exalted ones. You are no match for me. Hey guys, welcome back to another killstreak breakdown video. Today is a 75 Vader killstreak on Yavin. Um, I know I did get a Vader streak on Yavin 4 recently, but this one I had to PTFO a lot more. Um, so it felt pretty satisfying. Um, I honestly picked Vader just so I could get through this phase. I didn't expect to survive this entire thing. Which, once you really watch this, you, I really, you really end up being surprised. Um, so yeah, I really have to PTFO, because as you can tell right now, we're pretty low on tickets. Um, the star cards before, in case you didn't see, I've got Saber Throw Travels Further, um, Damage Reduction During these Focus Rage, and Bonus Health, like Bonus Max Health. So those are three cards I'm running. Uh, the Saber Throw one is probably the one I'd definitely recommend, at least, out of any of those cards that you pick. Because that extra distance is really good. Because apart from that, Vader, he has to actually close the gap to hit people. Whereas that Saber Throw makes up for it. So as you can see right now, I'm doing my best to stay near the objective. Anticipating that they'd turn it off. Um, we've got one left, so I see anyone right near it, I'll kill them. Once we get through, I'll try and kill a few more people. But we get through, so that's good. Um, actually at the start of this second phase, I actually get chased full on by an Anakin, so I nearly die. Uh, if it weren't for a few teammates, actually, who ended up helping me. Um, I was trying to lure him away from his teammates originally in the objective, which that nearly, nearly got me killed, actually, because, you know, retreating from an Anakin, if you're not careful about it, you can get yourself killed, so. Um, but as you'll really see toward the end, especially, because um, while this is all happening, like while this Anakin was chasing me, my team was able to capture the forest camp, um, which actually helps a lot, but... Uh, for, for the rest of the other objectives, I had to actually be on them and actually be right next to them. Whether I was the one uh, uh, doing the arming or the guarding, I had to full on be near it, as you'll start to see. And um, that type of th th these type of streaks are more satisfying, to be honest, because um, like I'd rather a, a kill streak like this, where it's like not as high as all the big kill streakers, but where I'm actually playing the objective, and you know, it's more rewarding for me. Like I'd rather get like a 20 kill streak defending an objective and winning the game as opposed to like getting a 50 and just spawn camping the enemy sort of thing so um yeah that, as you can see right now I'm, I'm slowly trying to retreat from Anakin lure him away um I was trying to um right here I thought I'd bait him to attack as I'm about to double back but he ends up pulling me at the same time which cost me a bit more health um, yeah, it's right here where I nearly died, but if those two or three teammates weren't there, he probably would have kept going. Cause, um, it did take a while for me to get some health back, actually, like, because I was really starting to get targeted. Just, but then again, I was on the objective, though, so I guess you wouldn't call it targeting. I guess it's just the enemy team just doing their job, really. Um, but as you can see, they're taking the forest camp very well, so I just go patrolling the area, get a few extra kills, get my health back up slowly. The bait is very tanky, so even if you, you have the health pool that I've got right now, um, you can kind of get away with it, as long as you're smart and you get a few extra kills, pick them off. Um, especially during Focus Rage, because, again, I've got that damage reduction while that ability is active, um, and that really makes a difference. You're able to tank more damage, and it's a good time to get some kills as well, because you, know, you feel less vulnerable because of that damage reduction. Um, so I'm just monitoring that. I've got a good choke on Anakin here at least. Um, I almost kill him with the saber throw in a second as he tries to escape me. But um, I think he eventually dies, which is kind of good. It gave me a bit of relief. I was actually hoping that would hit, but it just missed him. Um, I think we eventually get him when I get to the objective. So I look for a few more stragglers before I charge back in. Um, I don't see too many, and I was really wary of the tickets to be honest, um, so I didn't want to be too, like, get away from that objective for too long. Um, I was hoping, I was hoping to evaluate the area by, like, slowly going in without, like, I don't want to just run in there, because their, their team's probably locked down the objective by now, so I'll, I wanted to be careful, find a way in, hopefully take out a hero or two. Um, I did spam swing a little here, because he, he's out of stamina, and I wanted the health, but I didn't quite get it. Um, at least we have a few teammates around, so... I was able to get in here a little bit easy, but um, like in this part, there's still a lot of enemies around this area though. Um, you'll do see during this trick, I do get a few lag spike moments. Um, I didn't get the kill on Anakin right there, but someone else did. 
but at least we got him because he was a bit of a pain um, to our team, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. But as you can see, we're pretty low on tickets, so pretty much my only concern was the objective at this point, as it is for most of the time. Um, just kill, kill anyone I can. Try and let my health regen, despite being in such a tight area. Easier said than done, and I was trying to be worried because they were really starting to flank us. Um, thankfully, I didn't panic here. I saw I was low on stamina, but um, I don't know where the hell Yoda went. But um, what what he should have done is stuck with Anakin and tried to keep um, swing spamming me because they, if they swung a little bit more, maybe got a few knockdowns. They could have maybe got me. Who knows? Um, but Yoda ran off. I'm just trying to keep this Anakin at bay, I'm trying to lure him into an attack so I can force choke him. Because I did say his stamina wasn't too high, so I want to at least be a presence, put the pressure on him. He was lucky to get away here. Um, if I didn't have that lag spark, I would have probably got him, but I get a, I get a kill on Yoda here, which is good. <coughs> Excuse me, so I get some extra health there. As you can see, from the start of this phase to now where I'm at, my health has gone a little bit more up, so I'm pretty happy with that at the moment. Uh, we do get Anakin as well. There's always an Anakin, which is annoying, but... The fact that we keep getting the heroes was really important. We start um, getting more teammates in here. So what I'm trying to do is just trying to get as many teammates in this middle room as possible. And I just try and patrol the outside, if I can. See anyone I can get. Try and keep the heroes away. And always keep an eye on when your abilities are back. Especially Focus Rage, because that Furious Resilience card really does help in the end. Um, it's probably, what, probably my, the best, one of the best cards for Vader, to be honest, along with the Saber Throw. Um, you, you really take a lot of damage during it, so it's really handy. Um, we're starting to secure it now, which is good. And my health's just about full, almost, so I'm pretty happy with how that's going. But yeah, you do see a, a few lag spike moments, so. Um, the funny thing is, this actually, when I was on the, this during this session, it was actually my first game on, which is so. That's why I was also quite amazed that I actually managed to get a streak at all. Because, you know, your first game on, usually, of a night, usually you're pretty rusty or whatever. Um, I, was if that, I was hoping that Luke would keep charging me so I get a save throw kill, but he died anyway. So you can see, I'm pretty much just staying as close as I can to the objective. Don't even care about kills at this point. But if I can, if I can kill anyone to get off the, get them off the objective, I'll do it. So we managed to get it, but um, it gets really tricky from here because you have 50 tickets to get the next two objectives and you have to actually arm them. Um, so I really do my best to... Um, play the objective on those, as you'll see in a second. In terms of kills, I'm doing alright. I'm on 43. Um, I didn't care how many kills I got at the end of the day. I just wanted to try and win because I, I, I believed as long as I was live with Vader, I really believed I could help lead the way. Especially since, as I said, Vader is very tanky. Um, so I was trying to look for any quick, rap, quick way to get inside here. That was a lag spike there, but I still killed him. Um, any opening I was trying to get. So what I like to try and do when I get to these objects is at least start tapping it. I don't have to stand there the entire time and arm it. But at least try and let my team know that I'm actually there and you can slowly start to push up. Like, I'm not going to stand there and suicide myself into arming it. I just tap a little bit and in a few seconds I can get to keep it going. Because I knew I was gonna, we were going to need it. Um, I saw a death trooper there, so I let him do it. Especially with the tickets, like, we had to get one of these pretty quick or both of them at the same time. Um... That Anakin should have been choked then, I was actually getting damage for that, but... Um, so you see, I'm slowly um, tapping it a bit, keeping Hero at bay. Anyone who shoots at me, I actually move away from and get try and get them. But yeah, um, my team, fortunately, they'll do them while taking the other objective, so... Um, in that sense, they're doing pretty well. So I didn't have to be at two places at once. But I was one of the only ones over here, so it's actually a good thing that... Um, I'll I'll slowly got it done. Like we've got half it done almost already, and I've man we haven't had much of a chance to do much. But thankfully my team's done the other one, so I can we can now work on um, this one. We've got 25 tickets, so we didn't do too badly getting that objective. Um, thankfully, whenever you get a chance, so make sure you, you let your health fully regen. But obviously, um. If it's clear in front of you, you can obviously run forward a little bit. But, um, yeah, you just keep an eye on that. Because as I said in my Yoda one, or even my Dooku one, um, 
when you lose health before your health regens, that's when you start losing max health, so... Um, so I'm starting to get back up here again. I noticed the tickets, and we've barely touched the objective again, so... I'm trying to do as much of it as I can before I get attacked. So any spare second, when they... The spare second when they don't attack me is when I'm doing it. I'm trying to keep the heroes at bay. Thankfully Palpatine was here to try and help. Um, I end up doing the rest of this myself, for the most part. Suspicions, I saw we're on three tickets, because the moment I stopped touching it, if we hit zero before, when I let go, or when I've let go, we lose. So I, I kind of didn't take any chances. So I pretty much just finished it off myself. So thankfully we got that. So as you see what I was trying to do there is just kill anyone who shoots me and then go back and actually keep arming it. Um, thankfully since beta's tanky you can kind of get away with it, but you just got to be aware of what's around you. So now we're in the last phase. Um, my objective was obviously to try and get one of these armed as quick as possible. And usually they fall back to um, the briefing room first, so I went straight for the command center. And thankfully a few teammates slowly followed me, but I knew there'd be least resistance, so I thought, get this one done as quick as possible, and then rush over to the other one. So again, I do the same thing, start tapping it, let my teammate know that someone's in here arming it. Gives them more of an incentive to start pushing over. Um, as you look at the minimap now, I've got about four or five teammates starting to come in, so... It does work, if people are aware enough and smart enough to help, they'll come in. So I'll tap it a bit again. Then my trooper's in the room, so I went up here, start killing a few. But also I'm keeping an eye on it. Um, thankfully this death trooper did most of it. Um, I do double back though, just to make sure no one's attacking them. So it's mainly this door and the other side of the objective where I usually double back to because that's where they're most likely going to keep coming from. So I come back, check again, see how he's doing. Stay here for a few more seconds. There's always one person who's on the enemy team who's smart enough to try and check the objective. So thankfully this death trooper was well done with the objective. He got that done. So that's one down with about 20 odd tickets left, which is not too bad. They've done about a quarter or well maybe even yeah, about a quarter of it. And I saw an opening, I, brief, I just went straight in there. Again, I do the same thing. I tap it a bit, let my teammates know that we got people in there. In case they don't see the minimap or aren't fully aware of it. Just let my teammates start arming it. Kill a few who in the immediate area. But I always double back because there's always someone who comes in when I'm not looking. So I try my best to keep an eye out for that. Again, I keep doing the same thing. I tap it. I'm trying to guard the infantry and, and give them a bit of room. Um, I just kept doing it any bit I had, any quick opening I had to get a little bit of it off. Um, I do nearly die actually, but um, because of the thermal and a few shots. I should have died right here because I was choking someone and someone was right behind me shooting. Ah, that dude I just killed should have killed me. But thankfully my team was good enough to follow me in there and um, we had a clutch death trooper who finished the objective. Um, I looked at this last night, it was actually the third place player of my team who did that last objective there, so good job for you doing that. But as you guys can see, PTFR is really important and it feels pretty satisfying to get strikes like this, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment below and I'll see you guys later.